In today's video, I have the details for the October Junk Journal Challenge. I also have the first day prompt for October Daily, and I make my first entry into the October Junk Journal Challenge. Stay tuned for the details and the crafty tutorial. Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to October. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we are already in October. We are gonna have the details for the October challenge right here in just a moment. Um, but first, I want to congratulate everyone that finished their September journals. I know there was trouble last night uploading videos to YouTube. I don't know what was going on. I had a video going up that would, it, it just like, <laughs> so I get it. So um, I posted to put, put your cover, at least your cover. Please add your video in today. And um, that is into the September Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. And let me tell you, you're going to want to join that group because in October, we're going to do it all again. This is the October One More Time Junk Journal Challenge. So the October 2020 One More Time Junk Journal Challenge. So I had several people say, hey, could we just have a month to catch up? Um, I know I have journals that need to be finished, and I know so many of you do too. So what we're going to do is it's a little tricky. Um, we are going to do the same thing we were doing in September. So the same thing we did in September, except we're going to take out the page element. So this month, you're going to do the 11 elements and you're going to do an embellishment idea and a tag or card idea. Okay, so you don't have to do the page idea this month. Your items have to be made in October. You are on your honor that you are making these items in October. And so if you kind of started a journal, yes, use that. But then you need to make these 22 elements, these 22 items to finish your journal okay um, so we're gonna have two get two categories this time we have so many people that are brand new they might not have a journal out there that is not finished so you can choose to finish a journal that you've already started or more we want to see you finish as many as you can in October and then we have the category for those that are brand new or those that want to do a brand new journal. So um, two categories, the uh, finishing a journal that you already started or making a brand new journal. And we, uh, we wanna see how many you can do. Also, this is an easy, easy, it's probably the easiest one we've done, um, challenge and um, so let's see how many people we can get to finish. I want, we had 65 finish in August. 65 people finish that we know of. Okay, that's that's not counting the ones of yous that, the, the ones of yous <laughs> that challenged yourselves but didn't tell us that you did it. Um, but 65 finished and they got to go to the party in September. So we'll see how many finished September. They will be going to the VIP. It is scheduled for the 14th of October at three o'clock live on YouTube. They'll have a special um, link that only they can go to. And um, so they will have a group that their digital will be in, and then we'll be playing with the digital at the party, okay? So if you wanna know more about that, hang around. Okay, um, so we're gonna repeat September, September's Stash Buster with no, no, with no page elements. So if you remember, or if you don't, um, we spelled out the word Stash Buster in 
uh, September. We're going to spell out the word stash buster again. I mean, we are making this easy. And so our first um, things, our first embellishment and tag or card. So you need two in each of these things. You need an embellishment and a tag or card. Our first one's going to be made out of scraps of paper. Our second one, you're going to use tags to make an embellishment and a tag or card. Again, if you are going, what the heck? Join the September Stash Buster group because there's, L there's um, category element posts for each of these. And that's going to help you with ideas. Um, it's going to help you be able to do things faster. We have done several challenges that are getting us faster at being more creative and now we want to work on getting some things finished okay so um that's the other thing i hear people say i want to finish things i want to finish things so that's what i'm going to concentrate on on my channel is doing things faster easier and finishing things okay so um, a was any paper collection. You could use a paper pad. You could use a digital collection. Um, you could use like a kit like they sell where you get the stickers and the papers and or, or a Dear Julie Julie kit. Um, you know that. You can use then S. The next one is strips of paper. So you use strips of paper and it could be the... Um, you know, the branding strips from the top of scrapbooking paper, or it can be strips that are left over, or you can cut your own strips and make them. H is a hoarded item. So this is an item that you have had hanging around, and you love it so much that every time you bring it out to use it, you go, oh no, this is not the place. <laughs> oh no, I can't use that yet, because what if... A better thing comes along. Well, let me tell you, um, you're going to find better things coming along on your table, in your life, all the time. So go ahead and use your hoarded item. I'm giving you permission to use your stash in this challenge. Somebody once gave me permission. It totally changed my paper crafting life. It sounds so simple and so weird, but really, I was in a class and she stood up there and she goes, I, you know those stickers over there? Okay, do you, does anybody have a thing of stickers that you look at and you've, and you've just haven't used them and possibly there's been times that you could have, but maybe there was gonna be a better time. So, or maybe you know that you want to document or you want to make this thing. And you've been wanting to make it for 10 years and you still have those stickers. Anyway, she gave me permission, totally changed how I look at the things that I have. So I give you permission to use those items. Book pages, any book pages. Okay, so you can have... Your book pages, like from, from an actual book, um, they can be like from an Edith Holden book. It can be from a map book. It can be from a children's book, um, a table, coffee table book. It can be from any book, um, but book pages. And of course, most of us are trying to figure out ways to use regular book pages from the books that we've taken apart so unused envelopes okay so this is an envelope that has not been used it has not had a postage stamp on it and been sent off it's an unused envelope because a lot of us have a whole lot of unused envelopes so let's figure out some ways to use those and you never know your idea might really strike an idea in somebody else. So, and that's why we do the element posts is to give inspiration and ideas as well as to get those pats on the back that we don't get from other people in our lives and other people in the world. You know, that's how 
I ended up on YouTube and in the community, the paper crafting community was I love to play with paper. I love to paper craft and I, you know, it's my husband doesn't get it. My best friends don't get it. We go shopping. They go looking at clothes and shoes. I'm over looking at the gift bags and the clearance section and the kitchen area looking for things that I can use in my crafting. So um, I came to the paper crafting community looking for that pat on the back and being able to share um, what I love to make. And I started in a swapping community and it grew to Dear Julie Julie and this channel. And I have been so amazingly blessed by so many of you. And um, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So S is stickers. Again, I give you permission to use your stickers. This can be um, any kind of stickers. And if you don't have any, you can make them. And remember, I've shown you and other people have shown you that you can use like labels and make stick their stickers, right? You can make those. I used a sticker maker in September and showed you how to do that. You've seen me several times use my double-sided tape to make my own stickers. So um, don't get stuck if you don't have stickers. Okay, and remember this is a no buy challenge. The only, except <laughs> you can buy from Dear Julie Julie because I can give you that exception. <laughs> so if you need a new digital kit or something, you can go ahead and go. Um, you can purchase that. But you can purchase three items and you can purchase tools. Um, because sometimes I want your journals and the things that you're making to be something that you love. And sometimes you just are going to need something. So um, three, you can purchase three items. You can purchase from Dear Julie Julie. And you can purchase glue or adhesives. Okay, number T or letter T is tools. And these are tools that you haven't used in a while. And so some of us did September and we've used a couple of those. There's probably something else in your area that's a tool that you haven't used in a while. So let's go ahead and use those tools. It can be things like punches and your die cut machine. Um, but it could be things like your envelope punch board. Um, it actually could be things like the the glitter pen thing. Oh, what is that? Wink of Stella or something like that. That is a tool. Um, you that We're going to count that as a tool. E is embellishment. So um, you're going to take an embellishment and you're going to make an embellishment. So to me, what that was last time I used, and I do still have some of my hoarded paper, but this is like going to go in my daisy journal. So I saved this. This has a pansy on it. Oh, this, uh, all those are going in my daisy journal, actually. I thought that they would be cool and they would give some cohesiveness. But, um, you know, you can make an embellishment or you might have embellishments already made and you make, you, t you use that to make an embellishment. Okay, well, I have an embellishment, sort of. Okay, I have an embellishment from card making, but okay, so I have this embellishment. So then I can take this and I can make an embellishment out of it, you know, maybe by adding the word hello and then, uh, you know, I could put it on something and it could be a paper clip. Okay. So, uh, you're going to make an embellishment tag or card from all of these. Your last one is your recycle pile. So if you do the challenge, so your recycle pile, this could be an, uh, privacy envelopes. This could be anything that other people would be throwing away. Okay. So your recycle pile. Okay. So you're going to make two, you're going to make one embellishment and one tag or card in each of these categories. So you're going to have 22 embellishments at the end of this because the tag or card could be considered embellishment. So you'll have 22 when you get to the end of this. 
Okay, um, let's see if I make sure I got. Okay, so again, we are making a journal this month. This, you can make it any size, any theme. I know last month with the 11 page elements, we pretty much ended up with larger journals. A lot of us had to go to hardcover. Some of us even had to go to a two and a half inch spine to fit everything in. So um, this month you only have the 22 embellishments. So if you made, you know, if you made a journal that you're only using 10 papers in, that's less than one embellishment for each page. Um, so you can make it any size, any theme. It's a no buy. Um, and we're doing that all the way through the end of the year. Um, I do want to let you know that I, my Patreon opens today. I will put up a short video, um, explaining it and right before it goes up. But I want you to know that one of the, the middle, I think it's like close the middle category, uh, the middle tier, you get a hint. On the 27th of the month, you get the hint for the next month's challenge. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I know you guys all want hints, and I don't do hints, but um, people have been begging, begging for hints. So I put that in as part of one of the tiers in the Patreon. Um, okay, so for your October challenge, you're, we're not swapping these journals. This is a journal for you to keep or for you to give away. Um, any size, any theme, any type of journal. So you can do any type of binding that you want to do. Uh, we have several that that are not ready to bind with a, you know, a sewn bound, bind, binding, sewn binding, and some that are just not able to do it. So you can do a ring binder. You can do the, just the rings okay now these I've done these I do for my December dailies I've done these several years and I have the big ones for that um, these I found in the embroidery by the embroidery thread at Michael's or Joann's and um, they're a little you know little pricey but if you're making a big journal you want big rings um, but you can also use like the little rings you um, yeah, so you can do that. You can also tie them with ribbon. I have a, I have a photo album that was handmade that is tied with ribbon. Um, and it's beautiful. It has hardcover front and back that are separate from each other. Papers in the middle and the ribbon. So maybe I'll do one of those this month. Because I, I have a couple of things that are put together and they need to be that kind of journal. They can't unless I went through and attached all the pages to each other, but it would just be much easier to go ahead and put holes in them. Okay, so you can do any type of journal, any size, any theme. It needs to have all of those items. The deadline is October 31st. Yes, Halloween. So if you are celebrating Halloween, you'll maybe want to, to do this a little early. And I again, I made this easier knowing that Many people are transitioning back to work, back to school. Um, we have holidays coming. So that's why I took the page element out. And I, I took the page element out um, on purpose because we're finished. You know, the, the main key was to finish journals. But I didn't replace it with anything because I wanted to make this to be something that everybody can finish. My goal is to have 100 people finish this journal challenge this month. So please, if you're one of those that are out there in the, in the midst, mist, <laughs> and you are challenging yourself, please come on in and become a part of the community. Um, questions will be answered you will be inspired and it is just and i got goosebumps you guys these groups have be they have been amazing they have gotten so many of us through so many things it's unbelievable um you know natural disasters and you know sickness and family members 
um, stuff. So it's, it's bigger than it's just the journals if you want it to be. Okay. Um, and let's see. So, and if you don't want all that stuff, at least come in when you finish your journal and post your stuff and stay there long enough so that I can invite you so that you can get your prize. Okay. Um, that's the other thing. I had several people finish and leave the group and I wasn't able to tag them. I, I tagged them, but they're, the tag doesn't tag them um, so that they could get their gift. Okay, so a um, other, couple other important things. When you finish your journal, there are um, posts. They are black, and they've got like falling stars in them. And they say, put your video of your finished journal here. So please post your videos that you make post your photo album so we ask that you make a photo album so you go to the top of the the group and click on photos i believe and create an album and make a photo album that has your pictures in it um, if somebody sees one element that you make that's amazing and they want to see more that's how they're going to be able to find you. They can go to your photo album and find your other pictures. And um, so also your photo album needs to have your name on it. These things are very important so that I can find you to give you your gift at the end of the month. Or when we're getting ready for the party. Okay. Um, most importantly, there is a place that is one of those black posts with the stars that says place or put a picture of your finished journal here. Not your finished cover, but a picture of your finished journal. So when you finish your journal, you put that there. That's your first, first thing you do when you finish is put that there. You might post the, hey, I finished. Oh my gosh, I did it. That's, that's amazing. Do that, but put your picture in there. Okay, so if you go to load your video and you're having trouble loading it, you at least have that done. Okay, and I can find you and you're within the, the deadline time frame. There are not very many rules to this except for that you finish on time, you post your elements, you post your finished, um, your finished product, you are kind and helpful and awesome <laughs> and that that is it and you will receive the gift of an amazing community as well as that digital that we'll be giving in your party and the two hour virtual party and the date for that has already been set and let me see I have my I have I have my calendar and it's gotten bigger now because of the Patreon. So the VIP for September is going to be October 14th. And the VIP for November will be November 18th. November 18th at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so those are there. You know... To watch for them, um, especially the week before the party date, because that's when we're going to be ushering you all into the group. You'll be getting your digitals and all of that. So one more thing. I added my avatar with hearts. I think it was. Was it hearts? With um, And I'm going to be using that av those avatar posts because I think they're awesome. Um, but the avatar posts with hearts. And that's where you put your questions. And if I don't answer it and somebody else does, that's okay. Because a lot of these uh, amazing people have been with these challenges since I started them over two years ago. And um, they, they will know the ins and outs or where to look for the answer. Okay? So... Also, if you are inviting anyone or anything like that, please make sure they come and watch the details video because most of the questions are answered in the details video. 
So congratulations, all of you that finished September. Welcome to all of you that are excited and looking forward to this October challenge. We have one more time. We are going to bust that stash and I can't wait to see what you make. Now we're going to move on. Get a little crafty. So I have some, so our S, scraps of paper. So I have some um, scraps of paper here. You'll recognize some of them as being from the journal I worked on last month. We'll go ahead and move our calendar out. That was just a prop. <laughs> and I will move my stickers right up here. I have some of the awesome Gigi Silk from Amor Fabrics that I'm going to be using. And so you will recognize I have put together a journal that is very similar to the journals that are the, the Little Bear, the Witchy Woman, and the Scarecrow. So I made myself one of those. The thing was, is I got the pages after, it's like, okay, I only had two of those, so those went for the Scarecrow, and I had four of those, so those were Halloween. But some of them I had one left over, so that's what I got. So I put the put together my journal. I'm figuring that this is my list, and this is going to be um, my first page. Actually, I'm going to make that all be. This will be my first page. Okay. So my first prompt is: What is your favorite sign of fall for you. Okay, so what is the, my favorite si sign of fall? Okay, remember I need to use scraps of paper to answer to, and then I'm gonna write about this somehow, okay? So obviously, okay, you guys don't know, or, you, or maybe you do know. If you've been here for a while, you do know. My favorite sign of fall is that day <laughs> that the leaves have started falling and it's the first time that I see the wind taking the leaves and swirling them across the ground. Okay. It can be across the grass. It can be across the, the asphalt. I literally get tears in my eyes and I'm getting them now. Um, remembering all of the times that I've seen that all of those first times, those places that I've been or lived when I saw those, it is my, it's fall moment. So do you have a moment like that? Do you have something, you know, maybe it's when you see the first pumpkins coming into the store or you get to drive by a pumpkin patch, maybe not this year, but you get to drive by a pumpkin patch and they start putting out their decorations and they get, are getting ready to, um, for that. So that is my prompt for today. I have 31 prompts for the month of October. The list is um, exclusive to my Patreon, um, but I will be using each a, a prompt each day in the month of October during my video. So um, even if I just make something really small, the other thing is if um, I will be doing some memes of some of them as well. Okay, so I am going to want, I got to use scraps of paper. So I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if I can come up with some leaves out of scraps of paper. Okay, so we'll go ahead and fast forward through this while I <laughs> make some leaves out of scraps of paper. But I, I really do like it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, put this down. And yes, there is a gap there. Okay, and we have the cardboard on the back. Okay, 
we have this cute little cute little gap oh my gosh Julie you're crazy okay so I'm thinking we can go ahead and add some of our leaves that we've made out of our scraps of paper this is going to be where I'm going to be able to tell tell my story okay so maybe one of those one of these out of the wrapping paper I'm going to put the big ones those side by side kind of let's see we can do a small one or smaller oh I like that one yeah we'll go with that one so you know maybe your favorite sign of fall is when Starbucks gets their their fall <laughs> fall drinks or their fall mugs I have several friends that are all about those when they switch out their mugs so I'm looking forward to seeing what what yours are I'm going to be posting my finished um, it you won't probably won't be able to I won't have my written part for you but um, I will post my finished page in the scrap all about it with dear Julie Julie Facebook group and please post your fall your answer to the question or if you do the the prompt and you do it in, in your journal or you know, and it could be that you're using a glue book or however you are wanting to document your fall. Um, go ahead and add that. Okay. So this is scraps of paper. We have falling leaves is what I did. Or what I'm doing with my fall, with my scraps of paper. I think we need a really little one. So let's. Pretty simple to just add. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and trim around the outside of this. My, um, my journal, my book has two page spreads like this or a page and a half for each, each day. So there's that side. And now we can go ahead and decorate this side. And let's see, we have, we have this. Ah, oh, darn, it's not quite, it's like almost. Ooh, I like that. Okay, how about that with that? And over okay so we're just using our scraps and we're doing paper piecing or kind of like the Franken page idea okay so that is what I have I'm gonna put this down this 
So this will be my decorated side of my journal card or tag. Depends on if I decide to... You know what? I'm going to go with this. So that you can see the, the line. Okay. And then we had one for the other side. And we'll go ahead and grab that. Put it down. Okay, and then we'll add this. And this is one of those papers I had cut to make ATCs, artist trading cards, when I used to swap um, items. Okay, so there's that. And then we'll add this one here. down there's a spot right here but I think that the sticker that I'm going to put on here is going to cover it so I think we'll be okay okay and then we have this piece just this random little piece and it's got glue on it and everything I'm going to go ahead and put it over here on the top just because I don't like to waste anything Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to want to put another little leaf. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be my, my little journaling card. And then I'm going to go ahead and I will put our tiger because he'll, he'll come over and cover up that spot. So, and my October daily will have um, Halloween stuff in it. The prompts um, don't really have anything to do with Halloween unless you want to, you know, put that, change that out. And of course, you're, you can do, you can make up your own prompts. Of course you can. Of course you can. Okay, so that gives me that right there. And then I probably want to add some of these falling leaves and there's a couple that I think are really fun because they're like grouped together okay so there there's that okay and then for my embellishment I am going to Let's see, I think we need something over here on this side. Okay, so we have our little, our leaves. And any that I don't use, we can use in, um, I 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna make a little um, banner. Okay. Okay, remember scraps of paper. So we have that. <clears throat> This one. We'll go with Some of these are from the the actual little kit that I made for my for my October daily. some stickers that some letter stickers I'm gonna have to find them I'm gonna put um, fall on the, the the banners here okay so let's go ahead and I'm gonna glue this one down right where it is so there's that one So I'm going to come and I want it to overlap. This one I'm going to put on the edge. Okay, but I don't want it to, to go out. So I'm going to put it on the edge. I do want it to be at that angle that we're going for, like a bunting would be a banner. Okay, so if I'd have done this on could have done it separate and then put it in the journal more like embellishment okay I want to see more of this this one so I'm gonna move that over okay so this could also be a little top tuck Okay, um, I'm gonna get some lead, uh, some stickers. I'll be right back. Okay, these are the first ones I found. They've already I've already used a little of them, so we'll go ahead and use these. And we're gonna spell out fall. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and this one's gonna be a little bit of overlap. But you still see that F. Okay. Same thing here. It's going to go under, but you're still going to see the L. And I'm using some stickers out of my stash. Yay! So we've got fall and I think we'll 
go ahead and add some of the Gigi over here on this edge because I have it out. <laughs> It was so cool. I was uh, I was walking in here to make this video, and that piece was right on the top, and I don't remember ever seeing it before. And it like jumped out, and I went, "Oh my gosh, it's going to be perfect for for my little journal." Okay, it'll even be more perfect if I can get into my. go ahead and go up this whole edge because this will be wow there's something we don't hear every day anymore I would just, we just <laughs> there's not a whole lot of fire and act, whatever activity but I mean up in our mountains we're still smoky outside to tell Tom to wave to him when he went off to work this morning um, yeah we're still we're still very smoky we don't look so bad but you can't see the mountains from our house because of the smoke Okay, here we go. Go ahead and press that down all the way across. Down all the way across. Okay, so I've shown you where I'll go ahead and put this on paper. But you can also just go ahead and put it in. Okay, and I like that um, because that's going to give me a lace edge that will cover up any creep. And it's the first large page in this um, in my journal set up this time, so it's a perfect place for it. The other thing it did is it um, turned that into a definite little tuck right there. So if I need more space to write my my story, I can put it there. So I have this piece here that is one of the scraps from the making from making the journal okay so I'm using a paper scrap so we're using a paper scrap here to make the pocket make sure it's straight okay so that will hold my little my little tag okay and so the next thing I do want to use my little leaves that we made and I'm gonna make a swirl here and then kind of going up because that's kind of what it seems to do so I want a, I'm gonna use my scraps So I use the big the big ones. Okay. 
Okay, and do one more up here. Because it's a trip, it's like they'll be in a circle and they'll have some that will be up high, is what it's what I'm thinking of. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the little sticker leaves and put them down here. So we'll go ahead and fast forward while I put some sticker leaves down here. So this will be my first page and I have made my tag using strips or using scraps of paper and I made my embellishment using scraps of paper. Um, the other thing that we might want to do is add a line across the top of there. I think I'll just go ahead and rip from here. And this is how we could have had it all pieced together. I mean, because you could have, I could have built that separate and then put it on the page. And probably should have for this application for, I'll try and remember to do it that way for the rest of the videos. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to go ahead and I want to actually be able to use what I'm making this month. So we are going to be putting, well, 22 of our days in here. <laughs> or no, 11. 11 of our days will be putting embellishments. For this. Okay, so first fall or first October prompt is what is your favorite sign of fall? What is your favorite sign of fall? What is that first thing that you go, oh, it's fall. Okay, I can also go ahead and add this paper in here for more room to write. So. Um, there we go. And maybe if I get a picture of it, I can put the picture there as well. I'm mostly going to be writing in this, but if I can have pictures, I'm going to put them in. I'm going to do them just on copy paper. You guys, I have a picture of my sister that my dad had printed. Um, it was from her baby shower, which was on the Saturday before she was killed in the mudslide and um, my dad took the picture to Kinko's and Kinko, Kinko's printed off hundreds of this picture for my dad to be able to hand out and um, and then they, they didn't they, they wouldn't charge him for it but anyway um, that I still have I still have the picture and it looks like a regular picture and it is on copy paper it is not even a you know major it is a copy <laughs> paper photograph so I'm going to go ahead and just print photos on copy paper because it's you know less it, it won't take up as much room and at least I'll have those pictures so um 
so that's my day one of my October prompt. That is our details for the October challenge. I can't wait to see what you do with that. The group information and the details in the description box down below. You go ahead and go on over and join the group and I'll let you in and we can go from there. So I can't wait to see what you do and I can't wait to see how fast you do it. Can't wait to see how many journals that you get finished. Find something to celebrate every day. Make sure you go and watch this playlist of the October, um, my October daily from last year. I'll put the playlist up here and I will put the day one video over here. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.